All right, so this is an EOC style question. Welcome, I'm Dr. Erig. A computer store is placing an order for computers and tablets. Each computer cost $875, and each tablet cost $375. So we're just gonna have X, it tells you is computers, Y is tablets. Okay, now, Here's a hint. I'm gonna still talk you through it, but the answer is already like right here. This is what we're typing in, but let's talk through it. 875 is money. We're gonna add more things with money, and then it says it can spend at most $10,000. So remember, you always wanna do one lower and one higher. So, if they, can they spend, if they want us to spend at most 10,000, can they spend 9,999? Yes. Can they spend exactly 10,000? Yes. Can they spend 10,001? No. So we know it's gonna still be money, but it has to be less than or equal to 10,000 because the smiley faces are with the 9999 and the 10,000. So we know that computers are X, tablets are Y, computers cost 875, and tablets cost 235. All right, that's how they gave you that formula. That's where it came from. Then the next formula, well, you're just buying it. It talks about how much space it takes up. So now our next formula will deal with space. Each computer takes up four feet of space, so that's where the 4x comes from. Each tablet takes up three feet of space, that's where our 3y comes from. And it says that the store has only 45 feet, so now we gotta do our 45, 44, and 46. If they only have 45 feet for the display and this display takes 44 feet, is that okay? Yeah, because they have 45 feet. If the display takes exactly 45 feet, is that okay? Yeah. Can the display take 46 feet? No. So that means that the 45 will go here and everything else has to be less than that. Because just like with the 10,000, that's why we have to do the less than or equal sign. It's the or equal sign because both 10,000 and 45 work. Now, the past two minutes and 45 seconds, it wasn't a waste of your time because I taught you how to do the problem but let me show you how quick this problem really is since I give you the formulas. Go to the graphing calculator. You're gonna be like, Doc, I can't believe they treated us so nicely. This is ridiculously easy. Oh my goodness, don't forget to use the bottom part. It's huge, it's totally fine. Let's do the next piece. 4x plus 3y less than or equal to 45. Now. I'm gonna be zooming myself in, and remember, the correct answer is going to be where there is overlap, okay? Now, technically speaking, and I can't draw it on, actually, let's do it like this. Let me just take a quick screen grab. So here's the issue. If I look at our picture like this, okay? Because you can't have negative money, even though there's overlap over here, it doesn't count, okay? All of this stuff on the negative side of the X, of the Y axis, all these negative Xs, they don't count. All these things down here doesn't count. So our correct answer has to be inside this shaded region where both the blue and the red overlap, okay? So look at how easy this is. You type the problems in. If it's in the overlap, it's right. Here we go, eight comma four. Now if I have to kind of zoom in and it's perfectly inside. So that one could work. Let's check the other ones. So that's, I'm gonna label that A cause that's choice A, okay? Let's look at choice B. Choice B says 10, 2. We're gonna label that choice B. Now, here's the issue. Look at choice B is in the red only. That doesn't count. It's not in the blue and red, or I'm calling it purple. Let's type in choice C. I'm gonna label that choice C. 
when we look here, it's all the way up there in the red. That doesn't help us. And then we've got 5, 9. Okay, that's also only in the red. So the correct answer, literally done in one minute, if I didn't explain everything to you, is choice A. Because choice A is the only point that is in the blue and the red section. So that's the only one that can make it true.